Hey, what's going on? It's Garrick and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, I make videos of modifying my Tesla Model Y, reviewing Tesla, tech, and of course, cell phone accessories. Now, in this video today, it's part of my Tesla transformation series. And what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be lowering my Tesla Model Y with Eibach. Now, the Eibach Pro Kit is going to lower the Tesla Model Y 1.1 inches in the front and 1.5 inches in the rear. And the Eibach Pro Kit is only available on the long range all wheel drive Model Y and also the Performance Model Y. And there's two reasons why I'm looking to lower my Tesla Model Y. One, I love that lowered stance look on the Performance Model, and I hate the wheel gap that I have currently in my Tesla Model Y. Now, I'm on my way over to Republic Speed Shop in Harrison, New Jersey, that's gonna be doing the installation. But before I get there, don't forget to click and subscribe and notification bell. You don't wanna miss out on great videos like this. All right, everybody, follow me. Wow, I am super impressed on how good this looks and how it feels in the road. In order for the springs to settle in, usually it takes anywhere from one to three weeks depending on how many miles you drive with the new springs. It took me about a week and a half and around 350 miles for the iBox springs to settle in. As mentioned earlier in the video, I wasn't sure how the new Comfort suspension would feel with lowered springs. I would have to say I got the best of both worlds. I can feel more of the road while going over rough surfaces, but not as harsh as I would expect. But I can definitely say that there's less body roll and it handles the corner real nicely. The comfort suspension is real smooth with these springs and I feel like I never made the change. Personally, I don't consider the Model Y as an SUV. I actually consider it as a big hatchback. And that wheel gap is gone and I'm loving the look. What do you think? Should I go upgrade to bigger wheels? Now since the width of my wheels are thinner than the OEM Gemini, I do have wheel spacers on the way to complete the look. I hope you liked the video. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and if you have any questions regarding my setup, please leave the comments below. If you are a subscriber to my channel, thank you for the support. If you're not a subscriber, click on that subscribe button and the notification bell. You don't want to miss out on my next project. Alright everybody, be safe out there and I'll catch you on the road.